Hello everyone, today let's understand a feature of Windows OS. This subject is based on the version of Windows 10. And this method will allow to understand, the current version of Windows that you are using now, and previously used number of versions and of course, you can see the details about upcoming Windows versions and its arrival. For that, go to the search and type PowerShell, and right-click on the Windows PowerShell, then run it as Administrator Mode. Then type, git hyphen, vm, host supported, version. And hit the Enter key. Once you follow this command, it will show up the details of the versions, like as you are seeing now. Meantime, it may want allow to display this details on everyone's computer. It may begin as the commanded not found exception. In this case, you would need to install or enable the relevant feature called Hyper-V. All versions are included in the Hyper Virtualization Technology, and which is run as physical host system, apparently like as the VMware application. To enable the Hyper V, go to the Settings, and type Windows Features. Now click on the Windows Features Turn on or Off. And here you see the Hyper-V. If you can enable this option without any issue, let's proceed. Once you check that box, click on the OK button. And it will ask for restart to installation. But some case, you may also face the problem, that the Hyper-V cannot be installed. It is because, your computer wouldn't enable the virtualization technology which you can check with the following cmd command run the command prompt then enter system info it will allow us to find whether your computer virtualization technology is enabled or disabled If it's disabled, then you need to enable it. You can do the following method to enable VT service. Go to the settings, type advanced startup. Then on the advanced section, click the restart now button. Now you need to access BIOS setup, simply you can follow this method, to get enter the BIOS. Click on the troubleshoot. Now Advanced Option and click on the UEFI Firmware Settings and Restart. Now you can see the Startup Menu Settings. Here you need to choose the BIOS setup. It may appear in F10 either F8 or any other key. You should press BIOS Relevant Key to perform next step. Now move the right arrow key to System Configuration. Then press down arrow key, to choose Virtualization Technology. As you can see the VT is already enabled in my computer. Once you press the Enter key, you can see the Enable and Disable option. Choose Enable, and again hit Enter. After that, to saving the settings, press F10 key. Choose Yes, and again, press Enter key. After the restart, you should be able to enable the Hyper-V. Also, check your computer versions on Porsche. Thank you for watch. Please stay tuned for my next update, and don't forget to subscribe my channel.